everyone, this is Heather. We're gonna do another Excel 2016 tip or trick. And this is just a tiny trick, one that I use a lot. And it saves me some time when I'm typing in uh, column headings. So for example, let's say I wanted to type in here first quarter. Now it just so happens that when I press enter, first quarter does fit into that cell based on the column width that I have but I don't need to have all of that width. And if I was going to shrink down my, my column to fit my numbers a little bit better, um, and then I were to come over here and type in second quarter, see I've got some overlap going on and it looks just kind of, well, frankly, it looks bad. And I come over here and type in third quarter. It just, that does not look attractive, does it? So instead of uh, well, if I wanted to utilize my room and my column a little bit better, I could, I could type in the word. Well, let's let's get rid of these so that's not confusing you. I could type in the word first, and if I want to stack the words on top of each other within the cell, I would now press my Alt key down by by space bar, and the Enter key, and let go. And you'll see my mouse kind of moves down under the word first. It's not actually moving into the, the cell below, though. I'll type in quarter, and then I'll hit enter. See how it stacked the two words on top of each other? Literally, it just did a little mini word wrap. So let's try that again. Second, alt, enter, quarter, then a regular enter. One more time. Third, Alt, Enter, Quarter, Regular Enter. So an Alt Enter is what I would like to term kind of a soft enter or a word wrap within a cell so that you can stack words on top of each other quickly and easily. That's your tip or trick for Excel 2016.